Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is May 17th, 2022. It is 1.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is my coping with schizophrenia blog entry for today. Today I'm doing pretty good. Um, I just had knee surgery on Friday, um, May 13th. Today's the 17th. Um, my knee still hurts a little bit. I'm still limping along when I'm walking from place to place. I'm not using crutches because I don't think I need them. It is painful to walk on my leg, but I think it would be better therapy if I just get my leg used to walking without the crutches. I was told by the doctor I would only need the crutches for a day or two. Anyways, I did go out yesterday to the pharmacy, which means I have to walk about one block to the bus station, get on the bus, go out to Walgreens Pharmacy, walk about halfway across the street to get to Walgreens and walk into Walgreens, pick up my prescription, get back to the bus stop and then walk another block back to my apartment. I was able to do all that without crutches, although my leg still feels very stiff and hard to bend, but that's normal considering I just had surgery. Um, so I'm walking around without crutches, um, trying to stick to my daily schedule as much as possible. I just did some work on my computer, um, ordered some stuff that I need online, um, and uh, as far as my psychiatric symptoms today are concerned, um, my paranoia is not that bad. It was worse, much worse yesterday and the day before. Um, I've had surgery before, and I've taken painkillers before. They gave me Percocet, and Percocet can tend to confuse my uh, psychiatric symptoms to some extent. So I was feeling really paranoid yesterday, the day before that the day before that. Um, I'm in control of my behavior. I'm not violent. I'm not suicidal or anything like that. Um, but uh, today my anxiety levels are pretty normal. My paranoia levels are pretty low. My anxiety levels are pretty normal. Depression levels are pretty normal. Um, auditory hallucinations are minimum. And I'm just starting physical therapy for my knee. Tomorrow, uh, I was talking to my ex-girlfriend, and she said she had similar knee surgery. Um, in her case, they eventually gave her artificial knee replacements. Um, but uh, for me, they just removed a lot of scar tissue, torn meniscus, and a lot of loose cartilage. Um, my knee does appear to be less swollen because there's less material in it. They removed quite a bit of scar tissue, and so my knee isn't bulging out anymore. Um, it's still sore. But anyways, I'm starting physical therapy tomorrow. Um, that could be painful, my ex-girlfriend said. She went to physical therapy when they did her knee surgery. I believe she ended up having a double artificial knee replacement in each knee. I'm not sure if it was one knee or two knees. Um, but, uh, my doctor said it wasn't out of the question that somewhere down the road I might need an artificial knee replacement. Depends on how well I recover. For now, I'm walking fine. Well, not completely fine, but I'm walking enough where I could get from spot to spot, place to place. Um, I'm going to do my laundry later. Um, haven't done that in a while. I haven't cleaned my apartment in a while. I'll probably clean my apartment tomorrow or the day after that. I don't like it getting too messy. But since Friday, it's been hard to clean up after myself with my knee hurting the way it is. There's a lot of bending and twisting and moving around when I'm cleaning my apartment. I have to vacuum up the month before. I have to clean uh, things by hand with bleach cleaner, that kind of thing. Um, the weather in Rochester is getting nicer. It rained a little bit yesterday, but it was warm out. It's pretty warm today. Um, 
we haven't had any snow in a while. It's May, probably not going to snow. We do get rain in Rochester, New York. We are in upstate New York. We're in one of the more northern parts of the lower 48 states. But spring has started and the weather is getting warmer. I don't have an air conditioner, but I do have uh, five fans running um, all at the same time to keep the air circulating, make it feel cool in here. I decided not to spend $600 on an air conditioner that my landlord requires. Not that I'm required to have an air conditioner, but if I was going to get an air conditioner, an air conditioner it would have to be a special model or a special type that fits into the wall slot and it costs $600. And I'm not paying $600 for an air conditioner. Um, but uh, I'll start exercising again once my knee heals. I'll go for more walks outside. I'll start using my exercise bike more often when my knees can handle it. Um, go back to doing my physical therapy exercises for my entire body as well as my right knee because I had already started physical therapy before surgery and I'm going to resume after my knee recovers and do the new physical therapy for my right knee as well as the physical therapy I was already doing before. Um, I have some appointments coming up. I have, uh, like I said, uh, physical therapy tomorrow. Friday I'm meeting with the physician assistant in gastroenterology. Not much really to talk about there. I'm doing fine as far as gastroenterological problems are concerned. Stomach problems. I'm not really having any. I mean, I take uh, an acids and stuff like that. I, take, I think it's uh, I forget, Prevacid or Protonics or something like that. Maybe both, I'm not sure. I got a long list of medications that I have to take every day. Um, next week I'm seeing my therapist on the 25th, and I'm seeing my psychiatrist on the 2nd of June. I have a post-op surgery follow-up with a physician assistant on June 1st, see my psychiatrist on June 2nd, and uh, I have a few other medical appointments coming up, including a dental appointment. My teeth are pretty bad. I do need to get dentures, and I may need to get a couple of teeth pulled out, so I have a lot of appointments coming up. As far as my psychotherapy is concerned, I am starting a group again. The psychotherapist that runs group therapy called me yesterday and signed me up because of a referral from my primary therapist to start group in about three weeks. I'll be there for nine weeks and then that'll be the end of that, what's called the module. The module will last ten weeks. I'll be there for nine of those ten weeks because I have an appointment that I can't keep the first week of group and the therapist said that was fine. But I am returning to DBT group. DBT stands for Dialectic Behavior Therapy. That's just a form of psychotherapy that helps you deal with high stress situations and very intense psychiatric symptoms like anxiety, depression, paranoia, uh, auditory hallucinations, visual hallucinations, high stress tolerance, that kind of thing. Um, so that's all the report for now.